continental, you see this is our idea of a future cockpit interior, how it could look like. Right now it's all off, as you see. For the next sequence, I want to um, that you concentrate a little bit on this nice decorative gray surface. That's kind of artificial leather what we use also to be illuminated. I will switch on the system with a fingerprint sensor like here and you saw now this light effect going through which shows that you can illuminate this continental surface. Now all displays are activated. We split this into kind of uh, surfaces. This upper one is only information displays. This one is the cluster instrument. This one is center upper display in the center. And this one here is the left-hand side rear view mirror display. So this um, idea is we have cameras on the outside replacing the outside mirror and the picture will be generated in this area for the left-hand side and there for the right-hand side. The center display here is more the interaction surface. The center display here, which can be used from driver and co-driver and the passenger display, both have touch technology, both are curved. And the center one here also has, in addition, force sensing and also haptic feedback. So you see when I touch this, it's reacting. It's obviously seeing my finger, but it's not activating. It's only activating when I really actively press on the surface and then I get a haptic feedback <coughs> in my finger. Now this a kind of simulation right now of a driving scenario. And in a few seconds, you will see once more this lighting effect underneath our leather surface, which will support now the main departure warning information. So this was now to get you the information, please keep in lane. For the rear view mirrors, there's also a nice idea based on a camera system, which is installed here underneath this black surface. Now I have to turn myself to demonstrate this. I'm sorry to show you my back. So right now the system detects me and when I look up to the right hand side, you see this left, this display is lighting up a little bit. So once more it's low down, now I look there, it's lighting up. So the camera is really seeing my head and recognizing where I'm looking to so that the system can light up the display or the mirror which is needed in that moment. So you have hand gesture and head gesture. Hand gesture is not integrated, well, it's only the head. Touch is integrated for sure, you see here, touch sensing surfaces. But this camera is only detecting my head position and it indicates the nose where I'm looking to. And um, the picture I can see in the virtual mirror, is it exactly the one uh, over there in the, the middle one? Is it exactly the one that I'd see in a normal physical mirror? Sometimes it's even better. <laughs> I wanted to know what you think about implementing here. Here it's implemented in really the same way as it would be in reality because now it's difficult to let all of you see this but when I stand in front of it the system detects me again and when I now look on the left hand side mirror and I move my head you really see yep. that the picture moves according to my head movement right. so what you do intuitively with your original mirror you move your head to see what's really next to your car it's exactly what we can do here the system is really showing me what's <laughs> next to my car I think that was your your idea behind it. Uh, it was not my idea, but it's a great implementation. <laughs> 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 Is that night sensitive too, so it changes uh, the light sensitivity of the light intensity? You can adapt the intensity and the brightness if it's day or night. And for sure, when you drive at night, that's one of the ideas we just showed, the displays would be too bright. So when you drive at night, all displays anyhow will be dimmed down.